in the first part of this lecture i discuss the position of stockholders and bondholders with reference to a call option on the firm now i will discuss the same in terms of a put option now let's see that if the firm is expressed in terms of a put option with reference to the stockholders now what will be the position of the stockholders now if the debt is risk free the stockholders will own the firm and they will owe rupees uh, 800 dollars to the bond holders carrying the amount of principal and the interest there on and if there is a possibility of default the stockholders will own the put option on the firm with the amount of 800 dollars at the exercise price considering these two positions we have two types of cash flows the first the cash flow is less than 800 dollars and the second situation is where the cash flows are over 800 dollars if the cash flows are less than 800 dollars then the stockholders will put or sell the firm to the bondholders in fact they are also owing 800 dollars to the bondholders as a debt amount in this case although the put holders will receive the exercise price when the asset of the firms are sold so this exchange is basically is cancelling out the debt and as a result the stockholders are getting nothing now on the other side if the cash flows of the firm are over 800 dollars then this put is out of the money stockholders will not exercise the, their options they uh, will retain the firm's ownership and they will easily pay out the debt and prince uh, including principal and interest of 800 dollars both to the debt holders of the firm now let's see the firm expressed in terms of put option with reference to the bond holders and what will be the position of the bond holders uh, they are to own 800 dollars from the firm or the stockholders of the firm they have sold a put option on this firm to the stockholders against an amount of 800 dollars which is the exercise price in this case now if the cash flows of the firms are less than 800 dollars the stockholders will exercise their option uh, rather the put option bond holders then are obligated to pay the 800 dollars for the firm and they are also to get their debt amount of 800 dollars now in this case both the parties are paying to each other the equal amount of 800 dollars so the bond holders uh, amount of 800 dollars and stockholders amount of 800 dollars these two um, amounts are cancelling off each other claim and as a result the bond holders are simply ending up with the firm and if the cash flows are greater than the amount of 800 dollars stock holders will not exercise their op put options rather the bond holders will merely receive the their claim or debt of 800 dollars which is due to them the bond holders position will be that the they are holding a riskless or a default free bond so they are getting 800 dollars this means the the value of this risky bond is basically equal to the value of the default free bond and uh, the negative value of the put options in or we can say that the equation is expressed as the difference between default free bond value and the put option is basically equal to the value of the risky bond